Hello, my name's Mark Taylor. I'm here to talk to you about the A-Level Art course at HSDC Alton. The, the course is a very practical course. Uh, it involves lots of kind of traditional techniques, painting, drawing, printmaking, and then we use digital techniques, we use Photoshop, editing, pictures. Students will use their own photographs, they'll go out and take pictures and, and get inspired, and then they'll come back to the studio and uh, use all sorts of a range of processes so that they can expand their ideas, make very personal work. The projects which we do are, are themed, so you can do landscape, portraiture, uh, digital art, um, 3D architecture, all sorts of areas of art and design are covered. So if you want to do um, graphic comic novels, you can do that sort of thing. But what we're doing is supporting you through the main uh, areas of art and design, which are learning how about composition, how to draw, how to use tone, how to use mark making and, and brush techniques. But also thinking about the ideas and the content that are going to be more and more interesting to you. Okay, so it's very much about you and developing your skills. In the first year, uh, we go through printmaking, all sorts of different processes in printmaking. It's quite fast and furious for the first few weeks, where you're learning all sorts of things you, you've not really tried at all. Um, and then gradually, as the course progresses, you begin to understand some of your, your own interests. Uh, in the second year, we have a kind of personal study, which is the extended kind of academic bit of writing, but it's only one of those on the course. The rest of it is supported by artist research in sketchbooks. Um, and students will do responses to artist research. They'll, they'll um, take their own photographs, they'll draw from observation, and they'll work in the style of other artists and designers. As the students progress from the course, you'll build up that knowledge and understanding of those techniques and also those sort of styles that are becoming interesting to you. And you'll assimilate lots of artists together so it'll be very, become much, as I say, much more personal work. So the, the course is assessed now totally by coursework. So the exam board have removed the external exam so there's no timed exam. So through the course you can develop uh, your skills and abilities and show the evidence in your sketchbooks, uh, in your final pieces, and we will select pieces, the best work from that to give you the, the final grade in the course. You will get assessed and get feedback as you go along. We'll use Google Classroom to um, have slides so you can upload your work and so I can see what you're doing on a regular basis um, outside the studio. So why do A-level art? I think you're going to gain a lot of confidence and it's really quite a fun subject to be doing. But it also goes nicely along other academic subjects. So if you're studying science, you need to be able to visualise and draw things and look and analyse the visual world. Uh, so that can be uh, very useful. It can it link in with English and literature and writing. So illustration can come in for it. If you're interested in engineering, maybe you might want to become an architect. You need those drawing skills. There's lots of different areas. The A level art is so broad that it incorporates many of the things that can be found on other A level courses like photography, textiles. So if you're not sure which course to go for and you like drawing, painting and you like art, um, then this will be the course for you. It will be support your progression, it will give you some, some valuable UCAS points, but also something you enjoy doing in your week. So thank you for listening to this presentation and look forward to seeing you potentially on the course. Hi, my name's Deborah and I'm the course leader for our A-level Art Textiles at Alton. We've called our course Art Textiles because it gives you the opportunity to create work which can lead you towards fashion, textiles or other outcomes you will be able to experiment with and learn a range of techniques such as machine and hand sewing, silkscreen printing and other forms of image transfer, 
garment pattern cutting, belt making, embellishment, computer aided design, heat press and many, many more. There are also opportunities for you to use equipment across other areas of the art department. The art department is your oyster. An experimental first year will give you the chance to learn a wide variety of skills useful for fashion and textiles and to help you create exciting and interesting work. Much of your first year teaching will be through practical workshop sessions and will encourage you to experiment with your own imagery and your own ideas. Alongside this, you will also progress your drawing and your artist research expertise. The second year will focus on creating a personal investigation developed from your own primary imagery and research, taking on a wide variety of sampling and practical technique development to lead you to your own creative and unique outcome. A written personal study will support the development of your practical work. From February of your second year, you'll be producing work for your exam project, which will culminate in a practical exam to create your own outcome. The course will be assessed as 60% for your personal investigation and 40% for the exam project. The longer lesson times at Alton really help our students to fully investigate their practical work and to be able to spend time reviewing their achievements. After studying A-level art textiles, students will often continue their creative journey, either with employment or by moving to a one-year foundation course at colleges such as Alton or UCA Farnham, or by direct entry to degree courses at universities such as London College of Fashion, Nottingham and Epsom. Students will be given advice, guidance and portfolio help as needed. Alumni of ours have gone on to have careers in fashion design, interior design, fashion marketing, journalism, woven textile design and even lingerie design. We run trips and visits to support this subject and often creative talks. And every year there's a creative department overseas trip to locations such as New York, Marrakesh and China. Our course is unique in that it gives you your own creative building blocks across fashion, textiles and art to move forward with your own journey. I look forward to seeing you in September. Hi, I'm Paul Williams. I'm course coordinator for A-level photography here at the Alton campus of HSDC. We try to make our A-level photography course as exciting for you as possible and building on skills that you might have learnt at GCSE photography while also teaching you new skills to um, prepare you for your A-level photography course and beyond. You might want to go on to pursue a career in photography or go and study it at university. So all of the skills we teach you and uh, build on are skills that will stand you in good stead in the future. Don't worry if you haven't done GCSE photography. Um, it will help you if you have done any art and design course because you'll know how to uh, present your work to meet the assessment objectives. But we are more than happy if you haven't done any creative courses before to have a look at photography work you've done or a photography portfolio of personal work and um, we can have a look at that and uh, discuss your suitability for the course. We always uh, think of this as a bit of a photography history lesson as well and you'll see here that we're in our darkroom where we'll start your journey and the A-level photography course and we teach you traditional processes right from the, the start and beginnings of photography and you'll learn how to use the darkroom and the enlargers that you can see here. We move on from that to using uh, film cameras and traditional film based photography where you'll take photographs on photographic film which you'll develop and print here at college so you get a really good sound understanding 
of how work um, is produced in photography and uh, the photographers that you're researching to inspire your own work, uh, it'll give you a really good insight into how they produce their the work in their day. It gives you a really good understanding of the processes and techniques and skills involved. We do move on from that to uh, modern digital photography as well. We have um, digital SLR cameras here that you can use if you don't have your own and we have a computer suite here in the department where we have uh, the latest uh, updates on Adobe Creative Cloud so you can edit your photographs using Photoshop and uh, don't worry if you haven't used that before we'll give you uh, instruction and guidance on how to use that. We've also got three uh, fully equipped photography studios here so you'll be shown all about studio lighting and how to control lighting and once you've learned how to use the studio, if you want to do more studio work in your projects, you're able to book and use the studios outside of the photography lessons. All of the work that you do, it's all coursework based and uh, we use a mixture of traditional photography workbooks and uh, Google Classroom where you update and show your work that you've done digitally for assessment. And the first year is all about building up your skills, so the darkroom, studios, using digital SLR cameras, uh, composition, apertures, shutter speeds, you'll have a really good understanding of how to use your camera. We'll also introduce you into the different genres of photography, so portraiture and um, fashion photography, documentary photography, still life, commercial, all the different aspects. So when you go on to the second year, hopefully you'll be getting an idea of uh, which techniques you'd like the most, which genres of photography you're most interested in. Your assessed work takes place um, for your A-level in the second year where you do a personal investigation, which is 60% of the A-level um, marks. And so this will be on a personal project on the genre of photography that you're most interested in. And you can either choose a theme that we give you or we'll help you develop your own theme to do that. Um, there is a thousand plus word related study that accompanies your practical work um, as well and is part of the assessment. So that goes on for um, about two terms of your second year. And the final part of your A-level is an externally set task where you get a paper from the exam board with a choice of seven themes and you choose one of those to do as a project and that makes up the remaining 40% of the A-level mark. There is a 15-hour supervised time at the end of that where you produce your final pieces unaided by us, but by then um, you should be able to work independently and um, it's something that you can then use to really showcase you know, the best of the work that you're able to produce. Uh, there isn't uh, any other uh, formal exam in photography, so it is basically all 100% uh, coursework in effect, apart from that 15 hour supervised time period. We do, um, during the course, obviously subject to um, what's happening with uh, COVID and uh, availability of exhibitions but where there are exhibitions or shows that are relevant to the photography course uh, we do do trips uh, for example up to London to Tate Modern, National Portrait Gallery, the Photographer's Gallery to further um, develop your uh, interest in photography and again to add further inspiration looking at the work of other photographers um, to help you with your own coursework and project work. Um, in the past we've done overseas trips and we've been to um, places like Morocco, Iceland, New York, Cuba, uh, Beijing. Um, so you know we've been to a lot of really good places um, to, to again further your uh, interest in photography. Um, again uh, this is going to obviously be subject to uh, what's happening with Covid so we no plans for a trip at the moment but hope to be able to resume these in the future. Well thank you for watching this video and uh, learning a bit more about our photography course here and I hope to be able to see some of you um, when you start um, doing A-level photography here at Alton next September. Thank you. Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda Bellini. I'm one of three learning managers here at HSDC Alton. 
one of the areas I look after is creative visual arts and um, graphic design is within that area and I'd like to talk to you about that course today. So graphic design is the process of visual communication and problem solving through the use of typography, photography, iconography and illustration. Our graphic design course is great for those of you who enjoy being challenged and really like to push their creative ability. You will be encouraged to develop original and individual ideas within the work that you produce. During lessons, you will undertake a variety of activities, including digital photography, drawing and illustration, experimental mixed media work, animation, typography, logo design and branding, and computer aided design using the range of programs within Adobe Creative Cloud. Most importantly, you will learn how to produce successful professional and imaginative outcomes in response to both set and self-initiated project briefs as your skills develop, along with expanding your written annotation and evaluative skills. This is a two year course equivalent to one A level. You will have two lessons per week. Each lesson is two and a half hours in duration. It is coursework based and there are no exams. You will complete six units over two years in a range of graphic design specialist topics. In the first year, you will complete three units of work and this will allow you to gain certification um, in arts and design. In year two, you will complete another three units of work and combine that with your first year. This will then give you a CTEC introductory diploma in graphic design. Each project will allow you the opportunity to research artists and designers whilst learning and exploring a variety of traditional and digital mediums linking to realistic scenarios. Resources and class activities are shared with you using Google Classroom. Weekly tasks are broken down to help you organise and manage your time to inspire your own creative input to the requirements of a client brief. Feedback and discussion of the work produced will enable you to respond and develop your creative understanding of visual communication. And we have some examples here of final outcomes from a first year project called Impossible Dreams. And the idea behind this project is to encourage students to generate ideas and problem solve whilst following the all important design process. And of course, graphic design, it's all about communication. And we pride ourselves on linking projects to real life scenarios to help develop employability skills. And these examples here are from second years who undertook a project called Love Food, Hate Waste, and they had to produce double page magazine spreads. You will need five GCSEs, grade four or above and ideally one in an art related subject to be really successful on this course. Graphic design works really well with other art related courses such as A-level photography, art or textiles, as well as English language, psychology, IT, media and digital film and video production. And of course, alongside this, why not think about undertaking an EPQ alongside your studies? There are a wide variety of progression routes for our students. Some choose to go direct to university to study graphic design and related subjects. Other students will choose to take a further year to develop their creative ability by completing the Art Foundation course here at Alton. And some are ready to search for employment and apprenticeship opportunities in areas such as games design, events management, advertising and marketing and web design, to name but a few. So if graphic design sounds interesting and you really want to explore your creative ability, then this could well be the course for you. Okay, many thanks for your time. Bye.